Hello, South Texas fight fans. This is ring announcer extraordinaire Jeff Houston representing South Texas contender. We are live at the main lobby of the Country Inn and Suites here in beautiful El Paso, Texas. And with me to my left, the longest reigning champion in Hero FC history, the current 135-pound champion, Mr. DJ TNT Fuentes. DJ, pleasure as always, brother. Now let's go ahead and let's talk turkey, what's going to be taking place tonight at the County Coliseum. You're going to be stepping in the ring with someone who's no stranger to the cage, the Texas Punisher, Paco Castillo. Now, this is a guy who's had wars in the cage just like yourself. Talk to us about your preparation for this fight and what your camp has been doing to improve your situation as champion. You know, for this fight, I actually went to Colorado and I trained with Factory X due to the altitude uh, so I could get used to it here in El Paso. So doing that and, and training with uh, Mr. Mark Montoya from Factory X, changing up a lot of my strategy and my striking game, um, I learned so much over there, it, it changed dramatically. And so that's really what I did for this camp, was go to a different place so that I could get used to the altitude and get a little different look on some training. Absolutely, and that's definitely going to change your game because, you know, I mean, you're so high up. I mean, you know, you've got the real good air when you come back down to El Paso. I mean, it's desert air here, good stuff. But let's also talk about your last title defense. That was uh, the Jacob Brown Auditorium, and that was against Ray Rodriguez in Brownsville, Texas. Um, that, was, uh, that was a pretty tough fight, wasn't it? That was. We went a whole five, five rounds. Um, the guy really just, you know, did not want to give up. You know, he wanted to keep on going and no matter how many times he tried to take me down, I mean, he was relentless for those takedowns, you know. Even though I kept switching him, kept trying to uh, do different transitions, I mean, he still wanted to go for that takedown. So it was a war. It was a really good fight against him. It was a very scientific back and forth, which, which you know, I think the fans definitely like to see, especially the technically uh, proficient fans who know about the grappling and know about the, you know, the consistent clinching, and they appreciate that. Now, let's also talk about what's been going on in El Paso. I mean, you have just been on a nonstop whirlwind tour throughout El Paso. I mean, you've been talking to kids with Make-A-Wish Foundation. We've been seeing you driving around classic cars. I mean, you've been having so much fun. Talk to us about the promotional work that you've been doing in El Paso for the past two weeks oh man you know what it, it's been amazing they really have treated me like family here in El Paso everywhere I've gone it's just like open arms you know everybody just treats you like family um, going to the Make-A-Wish Foundation uh, it's I believe it's a uh, reach for a star foundation it's reach for a star and um, seeing those kids and being able to just hang out with them we were able to go to uh, the the, I believe it's like the one who runs Reach for a Star. We went to her house and she had a couple of the kids go over and we got to actually talk to them, you know, uh, tell, the, tell us their stories. And it was, it was beautiful, you know, very, very heartwarming. And, um, you know, we got to meet another uh, sponsorship from Hero FC called True Nolan. And uh, they had a classic car there and they actually allowed us to drive it. It was like, wow, you know what? Like, thank you so much. Like, they really treat us here at home. They treated us just like we were at home. Yeah, Deborah Roos with uh, Reach for a Stower Foundation is a sweetheart. I, I talk to her every time that I come to El Paso because it's just a, it's a fantastic foundation for the kids. And, you know, we're going to be seeing a lot of them tonight. But not only that, you're also going to be in the presence. Uh, you also had an opportunity to hang out with uh, El Paso's first world champion, uh, you know, Jennifer Hahn. You know, she just recently, just this last week, became the IBF featherweight champion of the world. And uh, you got to figure, what a feather in the cap for the city of El Paso. Oh my goodness, uh, Jennifer Hahn is, is, she's amazing, she's so humble, um, I mean, always there wanting, you know, like, we wanted to take a picture with her, like, she, you know, she was all for it, there was, you know, sometimes we weren't able to take a picture, she would step out just to come take a picture with us, um, and just meeting her, being able to, like, have a world champ right in front of you, you know, and, and just to see how humble she is, I mean, it was, it was, it's amazing. That's one of the things that you always hope that people keep is their humility, even as they progress in their career. Now, we're going to wrap this up now. Um, El Paso is really going to be looking forward to seeing you fight. So for the fight fans tonight, we're going to probably have a packed house, no doubt about it, at the County Coliseum. What are they going to expect from DJ Fuentes? You know, well, they call me DJ TNT Fuentes, you know, so I'm definitely bringing the dynamite. I'm going to go out there and be as explosive as I can. You know, whatever Paco brings, I know it's, you know, he's had a couple of wars inside that cage, and, and so have I, you know, but uh, I'm going to continue to keep this title, and, you know, wherever he takes the fight, I'm going to try to be as explosive as I can and, and try to get that uh, KO or that TKO. 
Well, that's what we want to see. This is the man who's going to light the fuse tonight, and, I, and it's going to be a short fuse. You're going to see this guy defend once again, Mr. DJ TN Fuentes. You're going to see him defend the Hero FC Bantamweight Championship against the number one challenger, Paco the Texas Punisher Castillo. Once again, I'm Jeff Houston, DJ Fuentes, representing South Texas Contender.